Hey guys, how's it going? I am Dunkonia and welcome back to the Overwatch League Roundup. Yes, we have our week two results and there was a lot for some teams to prove. And going into the first fixture, there's one who did need to prove something, Dallas Fuel. They were taking on the Seoul Dynasty in our first fixture of the week and this was a rematch from the, I believe the first week of stage one. And that map was in, the, not the map, the match was incredible. Absolutely incredible. Uh, probably one of the best Overwatch, Overwatch series I've ever seen. If not the best, and wait until later on. But uh, Soul made it a bit more convincing. Fuel put up a fight, but it was 3-1 to Soul this time instead of 2-1 to Soul. I expected it to be a bit closer than that, honestly. I even thought Dallas might actually pip Soul because Dallas were looking good. But I think this says that Dallas are perhaps having some struggles against the higher tier teams in the league, which really, at the start of the league, we're expecting them to be a part of. But moving on, we have the Los Angeles Valiant taking on San Francisco Shock. Again, this is another 3 1. Shock, again, still with problems, I think, still with problems. They're, they're a decent team, but they're not a fantastic team. Valiant are a bit more consistent. And this kind of puts Valiant up there. You know, they're in with the mix. After this, we had the Gladiators taking on the Shanghai Dragons. Now, I expected this to actually be close. I expected this to be close. I thought Shanghai would give the Gladiators a real game here. It was a 4-0 for Gladiators. Bit of a bit of a non-entity, really. <laughs> Uh, I really want to see Shanghai win a game. I really want to see Shanghai win. I really do. Anyway, moving on. Fisher is looking really good for the Gladiators as well. He's going to be a really good signing for the Gladiators. London let him go because he couldn't get in the London team. That just tells you how good Jester is. Right? Talking of London. Moving on to the next day, we have Florida Mayhem taking on London. And Florida pushed them. And this is the issue with Florida. They go close with a lot of teams. London, NYXL, Seoul. They push them, but they never win. 3-1 to London. They took a map, but they didn't get the win. And they, they could have. They could have. It wasn't beyond all doubt, to be quite honest, that they would not have got the win. Anyway, moving on. I think we de then had the best match of the week. The Houston Outlaws taking on the Philadelphia Fusion. Two teams going really, really well in Stage 2. Houston carrying it over from Stage 1. Philly surprised people in Stage 1, but they weren't fantastic. This stage, they haven't lost a map up until now. Houston go up 2-0. But what are Philadelphia the kings of? The reverse sweep. And they do it again. Philadelphia Fusion beat Houston 3-2. Man, Philly looking good. Philly looking good. They really, really are. And they're right up there. You know, they're in the mix now. Yeah. You know, right up there with NYXL in the, in the Stage 2 standings. Not the overall standings. Remember that. There's two different standings. It gets confusing. NYXL taking on Boston. Boston had a very bad week one, didn't they? Very bad week one for Boston. And it continued. 4-0 <laughs> for, for NYXL. Boston with, with trouble. Yeah, with trouble. But moving on, Boston had a game straight afterwards as well. It was kind of a day later, but it was, it was in theory, the next game. Reverse. Reverse, they were taking on Florida. Reverse it, I expected this to be close, but Boston 4-0, Florida. Ah, damn. Florida take it close against London, and then they get ripped apart by Boston. Doesn't make much sense, does it? It really, really doesn't. And this is the problem with Florida. They, If they were to get a bit more consistent, if they played like they did against London, against Boston, they would have beaten Boston. If they do it against San Francisco, they'll beat San Francisco. But I don't think they'll beat San Francisco because they won't play like they can do. They might beat Shanghai. That could be really close. 
Florida just need to maintain a level of play that they play against better teams, and then they'll become a mid-table team. You know, they need to sort that out. Moving on, we have the Gladiators in action again against Seoul. Seoul are very consistent with their scores this week. 3-1 so to Seoul. Uh, again, Fisher showing signs that he's really, you know, doing the Gladiators against some good, but again, a team can't rely on one player. They really, really can. You may have your star players, like Jake on Houston Outlaws, but he's not a one-man team. That's a whole team effort from the Houston Outlaws. I want to use London as an example, but you kind of star players on London with profit and birdering, so uh, Pine for NYXL, but it's 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 a team effort. It's not just Pine doing it, because Pine doesn't even play every map. Moving on, the last of that ba that three that batch of three, I try to say, is Dallas Fuel again taking on the Valiant. Now I thought the Fuel might pip this to be honest. I thought this is going to be. This is going to be tough for the Valiant. You know, Fuel are looking good. Yeah, they lost to Seoul, but I think Fuel were going to win that one, and they didn't. Los Angeles Valiant beat Seoul. Los Angeles Valiant beat Fuel, sorry. Dallas Fuel, 3-1. Um, I expected more from the Fuel there. Bit disappointed, not going to lie. This kind of pegs them back a bit, but they've got an interesting week next week, which I'm hoping... And expecting they should pick up some wins, so that's a different thing altogether. But moving on, in the last three fixtures of the week, we had the Philadelphia Fusion, who were unbeaten at this time, taking on the London Spitfire, who recorded their own loss against the New York XL. Now, this was expected to be really, really close. Philadelphia are looking immensely good. They they were they were good in stage one, right? But now they look like they've taken another leap in this new meta. You know, they're right up there. But London wanted to make a statement. Philadelphia got one point all match. And that was on the last map of Route 66. The London Spitfire beat them 4-0. Uh... This was unexpected, and that's a big statement from London. Big, big statement. That's, uh, you know, we're here. Don't forget about us, because we're going to come up, and we're going to make sure that we assert our statements on this league. And if they want to take that a step further, they've got to do it against Seoul. Because Seoul, obviously, are unbeaten in Stage 2 right now. The only team now to be unbeaten. So it, there needs to be some sort of statement if the Spitfire want to be the best team in the league. Because of course, on the overall standings, you've got Excelsior at the top. And in the Stage 2 standings, you've got Seoul Dynasty on top. So there needs to be some sort of movement from the London Spitfire. And whether this could be something, we don't know. After this, we had the Houston Outlaws taking on the New York Excel. Again, this was meant to be very, very close. Houston coming off the back of a reverse sweep against Philadelphia, and it was a really close match. After the 2-0, we were expecting Houston to, you know, kind of comfortably win that match against Fusion, but again, Fusion, with, with the reverse sweep, they have a habit of doing it. New York Excel, however, had Ark back, and this shows... New York Excel, 4-0 Houston Outlaws. And honestly, I think last stage, that would have been a lot closer. And that caps a bit of a, a bit, a bit of an atrocious week for Houston Outlaws. This plummets them back down the, sta the standings. So they've got work to do. But next week, I think they could pick up some wins that could get them back up there. And lastly, we had the Shanghai Dragons taking on the San Francisco Shock. Now, I put this down as a win for Shanghai on Twitter. And I thought if they're going to win any match in, in this stage, they've got to win against San Francisco or Florida. They got full road by San Francisco. So that kind of... That kind of negated any thought that I had that they might actually do anything. Uh, I mean, they're still waiting on players, right? And 
they've still got to play Florida, I believe. Somewhere they have got to play Florida. Uh, next week they have Seoul, which is going to be awful. Houston, which is going to be awful. Not Houston. Uh, Boston, which I wouldn't expect to be too nice for them. Uh, they have Fusion the week after, which is not going to be too nice for them. And New York Excel, which is not going to be too nice for them either. Then Houston. Oh, dear. <laughs> this this is not good, Shanghai. And then London. Oh, bad, bad, bad. Oh, have they already played Florida then? I, how are they... No, they can't have played Florida, because Florida have lost all. That's really odd. I swear I'm missing a picture somewhere. Did Shanghai not play Florida at all? This stage. How weird. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. They should surely play everyone. But obviously not. I don't see a Shanghai Florida game. Nope. In that case, Shanghai... I'm going to put it right here. Shanghai are not going to win a game this, this this stage. It's too difficult for them. The teams they're coming up against is too difficult. Seoul. Uh, Boston. Fusion. Excelsior. Spitfire. And Houston. I think their easiest game is against Boston. So, that's not going to be easy, considering Boston followed the Florida mayhem. So, I don't expect Shanghai to even pick up a win this stage. Sorry, Shanghai, but I don't think it's going to happen. You've got such a difficult run into the end of the stage, it's unbelievable. It's so, so unfair on you, unfortunately, but uh, it's the way the cookie crumbles. Let's take a look at the league, shall we? Because that's something else that we do need to look at. And the stage two standings, they've changed dramatically. Apart from one thing, Seoul are still on top. 4-0. Seoul are looking good right now. But they did look good at the start of stage one. So, you know, it could change. It could change, especially as they are yet to play the XL and they are yet to play the Spitfire. These are big games for Seoul. And they play, they play, they play Spitfire and Excel in the same week, week four. So that will be an incredibly, incredibly um, big week for Seoul. If they beat those two teams, they win stage two, right? If they don't beat those teams, Excel and London will probably, well, no, definitely overtake them. And then if London and Excel win all their games from then on, which you'd expect them to, it'll be New York, Excel, London, and then it'll be Seoul fighting it out with Philly Fusion, the two Los Angeles, and Houston for that third spot. Like they were in stage one. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. And it's going to be big games, not only for Seoul, but for Excel and Spitfire, if they want any hope of winning the stage. But if Seoul Dynasty do win those games, then Seoul start to creep up on New York Excel in the overall standings as well. Philadelphia Fusion are fourth behind the Excel and Spitfire. Spitfire have climbed up that table because they were mid-table along with Excel. But the two wins this week have really put them back up there. Philadelphia Fusion fourth. They would have been top if they'd won against Spitfire. But they didn't. So, yeah. Bad for them. You know, bad for them. But, you know, there's things that can get around that. And they might not be necessarily top, because Seoul have got such a good map difference right now. The two Los Angeles come next. Valiant and Gladiators in 5th and 6th. Houston down to 7th, which is uncharted territory for them, you have to say. Normally they're up around that 4th spot, but they're not there right now. Dallas Fuel back down to 8th. Again, bad week for the Fuel. I expect them to pick it up next week. They have some fairly, you know, easy games 
you might say, against the Shock and against Florida. You know, they win them too. They're back up there. After that, we have the San Francisco Shock, then Boston, then Florida, then Shanghai. Florida and Shanghai are still looking for their first win at the stage and maybe not getting them. Especially Shanghai. I don't see Shanghai getting them at all. San Francisco, I don't see getting into the top half. Boston might turn it around, but I think they're just going to struggle this stage. If we've got honest, it's going to be a bit of an awkward stage for Boston. Plus, next week, they've got a game against Spitfire. But, remember, in stage one, Boston were the people to upset Spitfire. So, look out for that one. Moving on to the overall standings, New York itself still top it, right? But their lead has been chopped down slightly. They're only one game ahead of Seoul Dynasty, who are now in second, and two games ahead of Spitfire in Los Angeles Valiant, who are in third and fourth. The three Korean teams you might notice are back on top again. We'll see if that changes in the next few weeks. Houston are down to fifth. Now remember, they end stage one in second. So, Houston have really taken a hit, and they are now three wins off of New York Excel. Do you expect Excel to drop those sorts of games? Not really. Especially not in this stage anyway. Um, Seoul, they're, they're two games off Seoul and one game off the Valiant and Spitfire. Again, they played Spitfire. Spitfire. They played Excel. Uh, I don't think they played Seoul yet. So, it's a difficult one. It's a very difficult one. A Houston Valiant game is going to be interesting. That's for sure. Fusion are in 6th, but they are climbing. They are now on a par with Houston and close to Spitfire and Valiant, so this has been a really good start to the stage for Fusion, even though even though you've got to account for the loss to London. It's been very good, and if Fusion can keep up that form, they'll be still vying for that playoff spot come the end of the stage. Boston, 7th still, with an equal record of 7-7. Seven and seven. Los Angeles Gladiators, 6-8. and eight. They're improving, you have to say. Fuel in 9th with a 5-9 and nine record. San Francisco Shock in 10th with a 4-10 and 10 record. Florida Mayhem in 11th with that only win on a 1-13 and 13 record. And poor old Shanghai with uh, the 0-14 and 14 record, 50 map losses and a minus 43 map differential. Oh, awkward and something to note, Excelsior are the first people to reach a plus 30 map differential, with Spitfire now in second place when it comes to map differential, which was normally Houston. Houston's a bit of a ground to keep, but with that 4-0 by the Excelsior and the one map loss to Fusion, they've uh, fell, fallen down behind Seoul, Spitfire and Excel in terms of map differential now. But it's very interesting. It's very, very interesting. And I think next week's going to be a big, crucial week for Houston, for Spitfire. Because Spitfire have to grind out some wins. If Spitfire want to get right up there, they've got to 4-0 their next two games. Because I believe it's against the Sioc and against Florida. If you want to be right up there with Excel, those are the sorts of games Excel will 4-0. You've now got to 4-0 those games. Not 3-1 them, not 3-2 them. Because that's something else I've seen as well. If you're going to be good, I, you know, Spitfire, I've seen a lot of 3-1s with Spitfire. Not a lot of 4-0s. Uh, a similar thing with Sol. So you need to 4-0 if you're going to be right at the top. Excel got a lot of 4-0s. So it works in their favour. But moving on to next week. So our fixtures for week 3 of stage 2 is... Thursday, the March the 8th, we are going to have Seoul Dynasty taking on the Shanghai Dragons at midnight GMT time. And I don't expect any surprises here. Seoul should win this. Shanghai could push them, could take a map off them. But 3-1 or 4-0, oh, I would have thought Seoul will win this easily. 2 a.m., we have Dallas taking on San Francisco. Now, obviously Dallas uh, kind of came unstuck against Valiant. I expected them to do better against Valiant, but they didn't. It was kind of surprising for me, but I think Fuel have have the capability to quite, not stomp the shock, but like, beat them, you know, beat them. 
I, I, I can't see b- past fuel for this one. So at 4 a.m. we have the LA Derby between Valiant and Gladiators. This is an interesting one because obviously there's a lot of uh, a lot of hype that goes into this, and you know Gladiators could push it, but I see Valiant winning it. Valiant look good right now, off the back of the victory over that over Dallas Fuel. I think I don't think Gladiators have what it takes to go up against them, but if Fisher pops off, then you never know. But going into the next set of fixtures on Friday, the March the 9th, we have the Philadelphia Fusion taking on the Seoul Dynasty. Now, this is a difficult one. Uh, see, Philadelphia went up against London, didn't they, at the, end of le- at the end of this weekend, lost comprehensively to London. So, I think I'm going to have to back Seoul. But if Fusion... It's difficult. If Seoul dive... Philadelphia, like uh, London did, a counter dive onto the supports when Philadelphia go in, then Philadelphia will get romped. But if they don't, and perhaps play in Philadelphia's hands slightly, it could be really, really close. But I think you have to back Seoul for this one. Going on after that, 2 a.m., we have the Houston Outlaws taking on the Los Angeles Valiant. This, again, could be close, but I think the Outlaws will edge it. Outlaws, I think, are either your third or fourth best team right now. You have NYXL at the top. Then you have either Seoul or London. Then below that, you have either Houston, Seoul or London. And then below that, you have either Houston, Seoul or London. So, that's my opinion on the top four teams right now. And after that, at 4am, you have the Boston Uprising taking on Shanghai. Now, Boston had a difficult start to 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 the stage, but I think Boston will have this one. Shanghai... They still haven't got their new players yet. They haven't got their visas to come into the US, so that's what they're lacking. And as soon as those new players come in, I think Shanghai are going to pick up. They're going to get their wins, you know. But moving on to Saturday, March the 10th, we have the London Spitfire in action for the first time. Now, this is very tough because at midnight they're going up against Boston Uprising. That's two games in a row for Boston Uprising. Now, obviously, there's quite a lot of time between them, but it is two games in a row. Not easy, not easy for Boston, you know, but at least they can, like, I think they will concentrate on the London game more than they will on the Shanghai game. Whether that might work into Shanghai's um, advantage, you don't know, but I have to back London for that one. London looked insane against Philadelphia, and if they shut teams down like that, they'll start getting, they'll start putting a lot of pressure on XL. So, talking of XL, at 2am we have the XL taking on the Philadelphia Fusion Again, same running as the Soul game. This is a very tough week for Fusion. But if they win both of their games this week, that would be insane. That would be Fusion putting the gauntlet down, saying, hey, yeah, we got trapped by London, but don't think that we're a a second-rate team because of that. It's a statement week for Fusion, but I do have to back the Excel. The Excel... Again, similar to London, growing pains to go into the new meta, which is actually an old meta because it's a dive. But, yeah, it's I think this is Excel backing here. 4 a.m. you had the Florida Mayhem taking on the Houston Outlaws. Again, I can't see past Houston for this one. Florida still got problems. They didn't look good against London. But they, they may push Houston, but I think Houston have that one. I don't see any problems there. At 9pm on the same day, GMT time, this will be a different day in other areas, you have London Spitfire taking on the Los Angeles Gladiators. Tough week for the Gladiators. But this is Fisher's return. Obviously transferred from London Spitfire during the transfer window, which is still open, by the way. It's got a bit quiet, I know. But, I again, I can't see past London for this one. I think, I think London should win. And I think London might be finding their feet in the meta slightly. After that, you have New York Excel taking on the San Francisco Shock at 11 p.m. Again, Excel, they look, I think they're a different class to Shock, to be quite honest. I think they're a different class to Shock right now. Shock have got, you know, they've got Sinatra coming once he's of age to play. So, they might be different when Sinatra comes in, but it, it's going to take time. It's going to take time for Shock. 
and I don't think they're quite there yet, so excel for that one. And then the last game of the week will be at 1am on Sunday, the 11th of March, GMT time, and it will be the Florida Mayhem, Florida Mayhem taking on the Dallas Fuel. Again, can't see that past Dallas for this one. I think it should be two wins for Dallas this week. So, hold me to that one, because I bet Dallas will cause us surprises. But AKM is doing well, but if he gets shut down... Then it could cause some problems for Dallas. But that is it for those fixtures. And we're nearing the halfway point. But in stage two, it's now going quite quickly. Am I not saying? You know, it's going quickly now. And plus, if you haven't already, you can now get your drops for Overwatch League tokens if you link your Blizzard account to the Overwatch League. No, just to Twitch. Just to Twitch and then watch the... Twitch streams of Overwatch League. And the other places, um, MLG and the Overwatch website, the Overwatch League website. But I am going to leave it here for this week. It's getting interesting. I thought Shanghai might pick up a win by now, but they haven't. It's a difficult one. It's a very difficult one. But for now, thank you guys so much for, jo for joining this uh Overwatch League Roundup video and we will be back next week with the week 3 results and the week 4 fixtures. But for now, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.